Of the 21 American republics of the Western Hemisphere, Colombia is the most northerly in South America. Inland from both the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean is Bogota, the capital of Colombia. It is situated on a plateau on the eastern branch of the Andes Mountains at an elevation of 8,600 feet above sea level. This South American metropolis spreads out on the flat plateau at the base of mountains which rise abruptly along one side of the city. Visible from any part of Bogota, the mountains are a constant background for life in the sky-high capital of Colombia. Jimenez de Quesada founded Bogota in 1538. At first, it was a village of 12 rude huts. But today, it is a modern city having a population of nearly half a million, with many broad avenues, such as this one, named for the city's founder. Early settlers brought with them priceless treasures, which reflected Spanish culture and custom. Viceroys came from Spain to govern the colony, and colonial buildings with garden patios hemmed in by tile roofs gave beauty to the city, which was so far away from Mother Spain. The roof tiles were made by hand, for it was soon discovered that the native clay of the high plateau was of excellent quality for making tiles. In those early days, church bells were rung to welcome news from Spain, even though it was six months old when it arrived. Then, as a result of a war of independence, Spanish control was overthrown, and Colombia became a republic, with Bogota the capital. 1819 marked final liberation. Simón Bolívar was the first president of the new republic. Today, many statues honor him. Simón Bolívar, the liberator. Facing on Bogotá's central square, called the Plaza Bolívar, is the impressive national capital. Truly, the heart of this city of government. Nearly a century and a half ago, Bogota received the title Athens of South America. Today, its ancient streets are still a great open forum in which citizens meet in small groups to discuss questions of interest. The people always dress in the same type of clothes where there's little contrast of seasons. Because of this sameness of temperature, many stores have no doors. Instead, they have grills which may be pulled down and locked at noon when shops and offices close until 2.30. This gives Bogotanos time to go home to distant suburbs by private car or by streetcar for lunch with their families. On wide boulevards, Bogotanos build their homes in many styles, showing the influence of their cosmopolitan culture. Children are warmly dressed to offset the chill of Bogota's elevation of 8,600 feet. Men may wear soft wool blankets, called ruanas. But this picturesque custom 
is rapidly disappearing. Café in Bogota means a coffee house. In any of dozens of these coffee shops, men meet and talk over a small cup of black coffee. Its street scenes make Bogota an interesting capital to a visitor. Boot blacks await customers on many downtown corners. A half orange is used as a cleaner. Lottery ticket sellers are everywhere, promising rich rewards. Two-wheeled carts are very efficient in the narrow streets. Posters go up daily to advise citizens about community and national affairs. There are large outdoor public markets in this city of half a million. In the markets, one may purchase fruits and vegetables of a hundred different kinds. Delicious fruits, familiar and unfamiliar, are available. Children prefer to buy popsicles. Flowers are for sale in scores of shops along the street. No refrigeration is needed for flowers at this altitude. Truly, Bogota is the city beautiful. Schoolboys that play in their school patio love and honor the memory of President Santander father of Colombian education. Bogota's oldest school was founded more than 300 years ago. As of old, students walk while they study. The National University has a new campus of modern dormitories, classrooms, and laboratories. Laboratories bring new riches to an already abundant inheritance. While scientific experimentation, especially in the field of agriculture, under experts at a Bogota governmental station, aids the whole nation. In a nearby teacher's college, girls keep alive the tradition of colorful national dances. The National Library is next door to one of Bogota's splendid parks. Parks where young and old can enjoy the abundant gifts of nature, either in organized sports and planned group recreation, or in simple games played by happy children. Boys and girls are healthy at this high altitude. And their parents and their government are preparing them to carry on Bogota's tradition of artistic living and democratic action. It is little wonder that the half million Bogotanos take pride in their mountain metropolis. They are justly proud of a history of culture and a tradition of democratic government. Justly proud of new office and government buildings. Justly proud of their modern, rapidly growing city with a promising future. Justly proud of Bogota, capital of Colombia.